Hello guys, welcome back to Just a Gamer. We will continue today playthrough of uh, Horizon Forbidden West. In the last video we found Thebes and now we have to talk to Warl. Varl. Varl. But we also have this one to talk to Ka Catalo and see uh, what's happening with his arm. Let's talk to Gaia to see if anything new. Aloy. I believe Varl is still waiting for you outside Beta's room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I just wanted to talk about something else first. As you wish. Uh, our progress. So now that you have Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided, water sources have been purified, and soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. That's nice. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus, and you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. Well, I don't know if she, we should continue talking. Yeah, you need to know. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it conflicts with the Oseram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you, as a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague to aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. How's Alva settling in? As soon as she arrived, Alva was eager to study the data in the archive. A particular file soon caught her attention. Information about a machine assistant devoted to keeping living spaces neat and orderly. I informed her that once I am empowered with the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to design such a machine. I'm sure she'll like that. Oh, that's it. 
Well... So the facility where I recovered Demeter used to be a feral agricultural research facility. It's where they created the biomass conversion system, but also adamantine wreath. Did Elizabeth know they were working on that? It is likely she was briefed on other efforts to combat the machine swarm. Though her focus was devoted only to Zero Dawn. That makes sense. But they actually got the wreaths to work. If they'd been able to deploy it against the Feral Plague in time... Using the data you recovered on the project, I ran several simulations and have concluded that it would never have worked. In all scenarios, the Feral War Machines would eventually hack and deactivate the wreaths before they could contain the swarm. So Zero Dawn really was the only solution. No! Sedona has two data cores. I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, Construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So, she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No. Though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. There was a lot of data in the greenhouse facility about agriculture. Do you think it'll help the Quen fix their homeland? I will run a query. Complete. The data contains information about novel crop production methods which may be beneficial to the tribe in the long term. The new crops aren't going to save the world, so I guess it's on us. It is. More? When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city, Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. But even still, what he achieved? Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. When we were at the facility where we found Beta, there were records that said Far Zenith were researching embryogenesis. I know they traded their ectogenic chambers to Zero Dawn, but why were they researching it in the first place? At this point, we can only speculate. Perhaps at one time they meant the Odyssey to be a colony ship, necessitating such technology. As their goals evolved over time, so did their areas of research. So they got more selfish as the risks of staying on Earth kept rising. Nothing off. Human nature. So I, uh, found thieves. What do you think Ted would have done if his life extension treatments had worked? It seems he convinced himself it was his duty to guide future humans. Given the tribal nature of new humans, and his ability to use Omega clearance on the terraforming system, I imagine he would have convinced one or more tribes to worship him as their patriarchal deity. Okay. Yep, glad that didn't happen. Imagine worship that for a thousand years. Aside from Gaia Prime and Thebes, there was one other underground facility that was sealed before the Pharaoh Plague reached it. Elysium. 
the place where Zero Dawn staff and their families went to live out their lives. Do you know what happened to it? Elysium was designed to provide life support for 100 years. My data indicates the facility went offline well before then. Did the Pharaoh Plague find them? Unknown. My connection to the facility was abruptly severed. I don't know if this will repeat itself, but let's try. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. It may be possible to restore more of this room's functionality should you find and reconnect additional camera feeds. Oh. I'll keep a lookout. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a backdoor to the Zero Dawn system without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. One that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. I guess I should get going. As you say. Be well, Aloy. The last mission. No, it's not the last mission. It's just uh, capturing Hephaestus. And then he has to produce uh, weapons for us. Uh, they all have something to say. She wants to speak. Okay. Welcome back. Good to be back. Have you met our new Quen guest yet? I could barely keep up as she gave herself a tour of the base. Varro gave her a new focus. Though when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale I, I thought she'd faint on the spot. <laughs> we showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like Alba. Oh, I also wanted to give you this. For helping with the land gods. Plain song is in your debt. Thank you, Zoth. You did need to. much more for all you've done. May the land always bloom in your steps. And yours? Okay. It's mission? How to go with the chorus after we fix the land gods. They were shocked when I told them that our lands would soon be on the mend. I thought Fane's eyes would pop out of his head. But of course they had no choice but to take it as good news, even if it meant all their preaching about meekly accepting our doom was exposed as rot. To be honest, I found the conversation to be highly enjoyable. I'm glad. Nice. They deserve it. They're lucky that you never gave up on saving them. Well, I don't want to I need to get going. talk too much here. Right. You've retrieved the Omega clearance. That means we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. I'll make sure my gear's ready. Uh, let's see with him. There she is. I hear you found Thebes. How was it? Maniacs, lava... What's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. Uh. I should get going. As soon as you want us heading out to those cauldrons. I'll give you the heads up. If I talk to everybody, it will be a long video, but let's talk to Alva. She's new. to work I see there's just so much I mean we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors but Gaia oh she's amazing 
And you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the um, late seal. And there's more ancestors out there. Returned from beyond the stars. Of course, they're trying to kill us, which yeah. is not great. And not at all. Is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus. And okay, okay. How about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. Let's hear a little bit more about Quen. You said you owed me an explanation for what happened in Thebes. I'm listening. Right. I'll start at the beginning with the CO. He was an Imperial, the Emperor's nephew, in fact. As such, he sponsored many diviners to search the legacy for anything that might help the tribe and himself. He took a special interest in anything related to Ted Farrow, whom we consider the greatest of the ancestors. Ted Farrow, revered ancestor. That's tough to take. I know better now, of course. Anyway, the Diviners discovered that Farrow spent a great deal of time in San Francisco. In fact, many of the most important ancestors did. So the Emperor's nephew convinced him that an expedition across the ocean might solve our most pressing problems. If only we could find the right data in this fabled city. Perhaps we could roll back the floods and storms that threatened our people. The Emperor declared that all the tribe's resources be poured into this endeavor. Dozens of ships were built, scouting missions were dispatched, and the Emperor's nephew was named Sio. One who wields the legacy for the good of the Empire. The living embodiment of Ted Farrow. A renewer. It may seem strange now, but for a time, he carried all of our hopes. We really believed he would save us. We had no idea just how perilous the journey would be. Yeah. When you hear word Emperor, that's everything you need to know. You said the expedition across the sea was more dangerous than you thought it would be. What happened? We lost most of our ships to hurricanes, and scores of soldiers perished to hunger and disease. And that was before we even hit the coast. Once we landed, machines ripped our patrols apart, and we struggled to replenish our rations. There were bright spots, to be sure. We found Thebes and the greenhouse, but... Nothing improved the CEO's mood as his dreams of saving the tribe were slowly dashed. He became more and more obsessed with Thebes and what lay behind its door. And more and more convinced that the title of CEO was no mere honorific. You heard him, spouting nonsense about Pharaoh's essence and some kind of becoming. We knew these weren't the words of a sane man, but he was quick to put any who spoke out in front of a firing squad. What a great guy. The Quen are wrong about many things when it comes to the legacy. I can see that now. But what the CO became was a complete perversion of what principal diviners stand for. The pursuit of truth. Uh, I'm sorry you had to endure his madness. I'm just glad it's over. For everyone. Yeah, what... I'm wondering what will happen when the game is done and then she has to go back to England. I believe she's from England or like overseas. Never mind. Let's see. So Bohai, your overseer. Will he run things better than Sio? He won't execute people on a whim, if that's what you mean. But he's hardly a paragon of integrity. I can't tell you how many times he took credit for data in the legacy that I uncovered. The best thing I can say about him is that he can be trusted to always do what's best for him. Yep, sounds about right. So again, humans. Back at the greenhouse, you spoke of knowledge forbidden to your people. Diviners are meant to seek out the truth in the legacy. And many Imperials sponsor them in the hopes they'll find something the Empire can put to use. 
thus gaining favor with the Emperor. But the Board of Overseers claims certain truths are detrimental to the stability of the Empire, like discovering one of our revered ancestors ended the world. That is why Diviners are only allowed to access segments of the Legacy. Only Overseers can view it all. It ensures that any heretical data can be contained and retrieved before it can spread. What happens to Diviners who break the rules? I never had the courage to ask. Probably dead. The Ancestors, is that what your people call the Old Ones? Yes and no. The Ancestors are the greatest of the Old Ones. Those whose legacy taught us agriculture, medicine, warfare, leadership, and patronage of the science and arts. The CEO called Elizabeth Sobek an assistant. What's that about? Right. Well, any old one who has made minor contributions or worked extensively under one of the ancestors is called an assistant. That's how we thought of Sobek. Until we met you. Our limited access to data past the late 2040s has obviously misinformed our view of the past. You mentioned the reason you came here was to help your family. Your sister... Her name is Alika. Our parents are commoners. Peasants, really. When I passed the divination exams, they were so proud. It brought honor to our family and increased rations. Only Alika begged me not to leave for the research academy. Why? What happens there? Alika knew that once you enter, you're not allowed to leave or see anyone. Not even your family. Uh, unless you can get special permission and an escort by an overseer. That sounds harsh. Like the focuses we keep. Diviners are few in number, and the Empire is, well, fearful that outsiders will try to steal our knowledge. Last time I was allowed to see my family was just before our voyage here. Because of my position, I was able to get them refuge from the floods within the capital. But if our crops don't recover soon, they'll starve to death along with everyone else. I promise I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't come to that. Okay. Maybe she will. But if you need anything, all I need is to help you succeed in your mission. The plan Gaia told me about to capture Hephaestus, it will help set things right. I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. Maybe she will stay. I want to say just because of the. Hmm. Why I cannot have I can have five potions and I don't have. Oh, I have this five with me. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh, I have a lot. Shock mine. Shock stopper. Can I leave? For example, it doesn't matter. Let's go. Let's go talk to Catalo and try to make his arm. Aloy, well met. We've been briefed on our mission and are ready whenever you wish to head to Cauldron Gemini. Were you able to finish the new arm Gaia was helping you with? Indeed. I was hoping we could discuss it, if you have a moment. Of course. You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it. 
And I want you to be there. Okay. How are we doing this? Not how. Where? Will you meet me where we felled Regalo's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends? Sure, if you want, but I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. Then I'll let you know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. Uh. But I have to go now. Then do not let me keep you. Like I said, I'll call you when I'm close to Regala's old outpost near the bulwark. May the ten guide your way. So let's go. This far away. Luckily, we have fast traveling. We have, we need him all for the last mission. I mean, I believe it's soon enough. Uh, yeah, we have a fast traveling for free if we go to the bonfire. Let's travel free. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, but I ha can go here. Nice. Keep an eye out for them the next time I'm in landfall. Well, if this mission is not long. We will uh do that mission too. For now. So we are near or yeah we are near so we'll see what we have to do for his arm and then if there is time i would like to do the mission for the alva help her I should let him know I'm around and find out. Hey, Katalo. I'm by the Tremor Tusk site, where we agreed to meet. Want to test that new arm of yours? I'll be there shortly. Thank you for waiting. Maybe now you can tell me what we're doing here? Not just yet. Follow me, please. Someone's being awfully mysterious. You took your sweet time telling me what you wanted to do to the bulwark. That, that's and true. This, my revenge. <laughs> this is it. What am I looking at? Oh, you'll see. Come. All right, talk to me, Catalo. I wish to test the arm on that. It has menaced the valley for some time, killed more than a few of the Sky Clan, but no longer. I'm honored to help. miss a finger after you why after me let's see how this thing likes the taste of metal okay he doesn't like sh shock
how I did that. I don't know. Yeah, well. Where is the weapon? Ah, the heart. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say the new arm works fine. Agreed. Then why are you taking it off? This is what I am now. What I overcame. Anything else feels... wrong. Like a disguise. I'll use the new arm when I need it. But the rest of the time, I will simply be myself. I wouldn't have it any other way. You have my thanks for doing this with me. Here. Something to mark our victory. Thank you. I'll see you later then. The ten be with you, Aloy. That was nice. Okay, oh level 40 and I believe she said to us if we can what's that sky meet Ikota uh But she said, if you are near, forgot where is the, there's a problem with um, ship. So let's, let's see what's happening there. Yeah, here, there it is. Yeah, just see if I can upgrade something. That's not. No. Outfits. No. I need to upgrade all my outfits before the last mission. That would be cool. Ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my request through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The overseer has denied my request for a search party. And defying him would mean dismissal. Or worse. You think they might be alive? Horus has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate wasn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. Well, if it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain. With a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read? It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is gone, could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I'd like to keep it safe. 
for him. Of course. Well, I really want to do that now because... But there's also this one. For the ship. I promise you, we'll find a way home. Carrion, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here, for good. The ancestor we born. May we be led to truth. Just, Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships. They're all gone. Destroyed by storms and reefs, and with them the one instrument we need to guide us across the ocean. There's one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly current. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christina. You mentioned you left someone behind? My uh, wife, Leandra. She works the field in the Great Delta. When I was chosen for this mission, she begged me not to come. She was scared I wouldn't return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I won't ever see her again. So you two are soldiers? Navigators, actually. I'm Harriam, and this is Christina. So, you two know how to use this instrument? The gyro compass. Only I know how to read it, the diviners trained me. Harriam was chosen to memorize the charts found in the legacy. So you can't navigate the fleet without each other? It is the Quen way. The greater the knowledge held by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire, should we be captured by our enemies. Your tribe sure is... cautious. So what is this gyro compass you're looking for? It's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location. But it only works if the readings are compared to a chart. How'd you get your hands on something like that? I guess it's safe to tell you since you carry the gift of the ancestors. The diviners found them on ancient vessels back in our homeland and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. You said what you need is on a ship somewhere. Yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall, a sudden squall hit the fleet. While some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly currents. Maybe I can help. <laughs> Not unless you can fly. I can't do that. But if I find a way, I'll come back. She's an ancestor reborn. Maybe she really can help. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. I need to fly. I don't think I can get to that ship. At least not now. Okay. So I need to learn how to fly to that to do that mission. Okay. Well guys, I will go there. If anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. I need to learn how to override machines. There, on the beach. The Quinn Scout. I need to get closer. See if he's carrying a relic like Jomar mentioned. No relic. Can't be Jomar's brother. I should take a look around. See if I can find anyone else. Frost will make it brittle. 
Frost. We do have frost. Say hello to my little friend. direct on the machine Look, I use a lot of health here. Uh, can you jump? Going down. It's no relic. Not sure if either of them are Oris. But maybe one of them dropped it as they fought off the machines? My focus might show me more. Huh. Nothing. Maybe my... Focus can pick up their tracks instead. There. Maybe Oris escaped the machines. Better see where it leads. Okay. First health. As always, first health. Up. Where are you, Orius? I'm just not even looking where I'm going, I'm just following the tracks. Machine. It looks like it gave chase, but Orius fought it off. It looks like he ran inside the tower. No way to escape those sun rings up there. That's why those birds, bird machines are circling the tower. Tracks end here. I must have climbed up this tower. Oh, okay. Can I climb? Slow motion jump. Oh no. Oh. 
game, you have that. Really? Oh my god. I don't know how I managed to do this, but I did. I was hanging. How many? Maybe if I go outside, I can find another way up. Probably, but I have problem. I have birds. Oh, yeah. close one. No, no, no. Go up. This must be yours. But there's only one way to be sure. You better check for the relic. And I cannot do that because of the what? They are hunting me. I need to kill them. Really? Can I wait it out? I cannot. Let's try again. I don't know where I went. I was just running around. Okay. Somewhere there. Okay, we went through here. As you sleep, let me go inside of the tower. Oh, from the first. Oh, don't see me. My focus picked up data on it. It's not a beacon, it's a tourist map of San Francisco. If the Quen could read this, they wouldn't need to send scouts out blind. I should tell Alva. Aloy, I'm here. Alva, I found some data I think Bohai might be interested in seeing. I'm sending it to you now. I'll pass it along. Thanks. I better take this relic back with me. Give it back to Jomar. Along with the bad news. Okay, but the other quest. Oh, I cannot. The wing of the ten has need to be completed. I don't even know the wing of. I don't even have a ring of the wing of the ten. So, unfortunately. Do that. Where is he? You've returned. Did you? I'm sorry. How did he die? The tower was a sundling nest. He went in there looking for cover, but he was holding on to that when I found him. Horace. I read the data on it. 
It had a map that can help your people get the lay of the land without risking more scouts. All of us sharing it with Bohai right now. It's a good thing your brother protected it. I'd trade all the data in the legacy to have my little brother back. But I'm glad that something meaningful came from his death. As promised, you now have access to my weapon stock. If you bring me the right resources, I can make you anything you see there. Actually, why don't you give this a try? One of our best. And if it's of use, you know where to find more. Thank you. I'm really sorry for your loss. I know you are. And I'm grateful. And let's see what he has. Well, this is something really, really good. It's even better that I have. But the best armor and the best, uh, how to say, things for weapon is here to do this arena. Maybe I will do that. Canister rope are a special type of rope caster. Instead of firing ropes, they can canister hoopens and attach elements canister to machines. Oh, it can be detonated with arrow with the same element type of grid. Okay. Cool. But guys, I believe this is it for this video. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Be good. Stay good. Positive, spread positivity, love, love is the most important thing in the world, so share it, cherish it, spread it, teach people how to love, and yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Till then, be good, stay safe, and bye-bye guys.